بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم السلام عليكم dear brothers, sisters ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the Tajweed class This is our first session In this class, inshallah, we're going to learn Arabic language We're going to learn how to recite Quran correctly and beautifully because in order to recite Quran beautifully, you have to be first able to recite Quran correctly. That's obvious. Secondly, we're going to get familiar, get to know Arabic language. The best or at least one of the best languages in the world. The language that Allah chose his holy book, Quran, the miracle of the last, the greatest prophet, to be in this language, Arabic. So, congratulations. Let me first tell you about the importance of Quran through a hadith narrated from the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This hadith is called hadith of Thaqalain or Thiqlain, which is a very, very famous very very authentic hadith from the holy prophet in this hadith the holy prophet says inni tarikun fikum thaqalain or thaqalain kitab allah wa itrati i leave for you two precious things two precious things which are kitab allah the book of allah and itrati my Ahl al-Bayt, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Lady Fatima, their sons, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, and the other Imams, the 12 Imams. So, this hadith tells us a lot. We can infer and understand many things from this hadith. The Holy Prophet says, إِن تَمَسَّكْتُمْ بِهِمَا لَن تَضِلُّوا أَبَدًا If you follow them both together, pay attention sisters and brothers, together, if you follow them both, you will not go astray. So this shows us the importance of Quran, of Ahlul Bayt, and shows us that says that that they are will they will not get separated you have to follow them both you can say we rely on quran and let go of ahl al-bayt you can say we follow ahl al-bayt but we don't care about quran you have to follow them both in order to get to reach to get close to Allah and reach the, you know, the Surat al mustaqim And otherwise, you will go astray because many Muslims, many Muslim groups throughout the history did. They went astray. And don't wonder, that happens. If you fo don't follow Quran and Ahlul Bayt, both of them together, you will go astray. So, congratulations, because you're about to learn Arabic language, which is the language of Quran. Congratulations. So, let me tell you, before we get to the first step in 
learning Arabic language, which is the alphabet, Arabic alphabet, let me tell you about the importance of Tajweed to recite Quran correctly and beautifully. What's the importance of it? The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his household, says, As-Sawtul Hasan Yazid al-Qur'an Husna. Quran is very nice, but if you recite Quran beautifully, that makes it even more beautiful. As we have from the narrators of the history, they say, In Aba Ja'far, in Aba Ja'far, Imam Baqir, the father of Ja'far, Imam Sadiq, the father of Imam Sadiq, which is Imam Baqir, the fifth Imam, in Aba Ja'far, كان أحسن الناس صوتا بالقرآن. He was the, you know, he has the most beautiful voice in recitation of Quran when reciting Quran. People used to stop and start listening to his beautiful voice in reciting Quran when he started the recitation. And even if they had heavy loads on their shoulders at that time, they would stop and listen to this beautiful that is full of tranquility, full of spirituality. And inshallah, inshallah, the day comes that we can listen to the beautiful voice of the Imam, Imam of the time when reciting Quran, insha'Allah. Allahumma ajjil li waliyik al-faraj. So, let's get to the first step of understanding Quran. Because if we want to have Quran as a guide to the Surat al-Mustaqim, to get close to Allah, really, we have to go through some steps. The final step is to, is to have our lives according to the teachings of Quran. But in order to get to that step, to that level, we have to understand Quran. But friends, if we want to understand Quran, the first step is what? is to be able to at least read Quran, to at least know the apparent meanings of Quran, of the verses. Because you know, Quran has many layers. Some say, or in our narrations, we have that Quran has 70 layers. So everyone has his own share, or, or her own share, in understanding Quran. Apparent meaning, deeper meaning, deeper, deeper, many layers. But the first step is to, to know, to, to be able to recite the, you know, the words, the sentences, the phrases of Quran. So we're gonna get to the first step by learning Arabic alphabet first. So Arabic alphabet consists of 28 letters. It's almost the same as English alphabet, which is 26 letters, just two letters more. And the good news is that many of the Arabic letters correspond with the English letters. Let me give you an example. For example, the letter B in English. We have the, so the same sound in Arabic, B, which we call it Ba. So, let's have a review on the Arabic alphabet, on these 28 letters. This is the alphabet. The first one is called Hamza. Hamza. 
با the second one با تا ثاء جيم Before I continue, let me tell you that the, this is the formal way to call the letters. This is the formal way, okay? As in English, we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but throughout the words, we don't always see, we don't always say, for example, B. In the word, for example, bad or bat, we, we don't say B, at. You say bat, the sound of b. We have the same sound in Arabic, b. But we call it in English b, in Arabic b. So let's continue. Hamza, Hamza, b, t, s, j, h, kh, d, l, z, l. را ز سين شين صاد ضاد طاء ظاء عين غين فاء قاف كاف لام ميم نون واو Ha, ya. So these are the 28 Arabic alphabetical letters. So let's get to the first letter, which is Hamza. Say Hamza. Again, Hamza, which is written like this. Again. And the sound of Hamza is a, uh, a. Uh. Sometimes a, sometimes u, sometimes i. But this, the main sound is a, a. And it almost corresponds with the letter a in English. As in the word add. Let me give you an example from Arabic language. The word ab. Ab, which means father. Ab. Let's say again with together, ab, ab, ab. So this is Hamza with a on it. What's a? Before we get to the second letter, which is ba, let me tell you about the three short vowels in Arabic. You know that in English alphabet, we have four vowel letters which are A, E, O, I, and U. So these are five vowel letters in English. But we have three, three short vowels in Arabic, and they are almost the same. Let me give you some examples. So these vowels before I give you the examples, these vowels are called haraka. Haraka means movement. Look at my mouth when I utter them. A, A, I, I, U, U. Again, all together. A, I, U, A, I. Ooh, say with me, a, e, u. Correct. So, how are they like the English vowels? A is like a in the word add, and e is like i in the word is is okay is is like you in the word full full so they are almost the same 
we how do we write them the fatha or a is written like this again huh? and e is like fatha they they don't differ but when a or this uh, thing comes on the letter we call it a the sound of it is a and we call it fatha a and with, when it goes below the letter we call it kasra and the sound of it is e e and we have u which is again above the letter u u so from now on Every letter that we work on, every letter that we learn, we're going to practice on it with uh, simple words which are, cons which are consisted of two, three letters, simple words, with these short vowels. Let's get to examples of Hamza with A. Like in the word that we said before, Ab, which means father or dad. Ab. Again, please repeat after me. Ab. Ab. The next word, which I know that you love a lot, is Allah. Allah. A Allah. Repeat after me. Allah. Allah. Allah, like in the word add in English, okay? The next word, the next example is the word N. N. N means that. Again, please repeat after me. N. 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 So you have already learned some Arabic uh, words, at least three or four. Let's get to the examples with Hamza with E, with Kathra, E, like in the word is in English. So what are the words? The first one is Ibn, Ibn, Ibn. Ibn means son, Ibn, Ibn. Ibn, are you saying with me or after me? Again, Ibn, Ibn. The next word is Il, Il. Please repeat after me. Il, Il, Il. Il means when. The next letter which means uh, if is in, 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 repeat, in, in, good. Now let's go to Hamza with U, which we call it Hamza, which we, which we call it Dhamma, Hamza with Dhamma, huh? It makes it the word the, the it makes the sound u, as in the word in English fo. Fo, in Arabic the word the first first example is um, um, which means mother, the beautiful word of mother. Um, please repeat um. 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 The next letter, oof, oof, oof. What does it mean? The sound that you make when you dislike something. And we have this word in a phrase, in a Quranic phrase that says, "Wala taqul lahuma oof." Don't even say oof to your parents when they tell you something that you. Don't like very much. 
you don't say, you don't even say oof. You, show, you have to always show respect to your parents. You have to love them. Any is here. You have to love them, you have to respect them. But we have in Quran that if they ordered you to do something bad, something which Allah dislikes, you shouldn't obey. But you have to respect them always. وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍ You don't say uf, even uf to them. So uf means uh, the sound that you make when you dislike something. Uf, say uf, uf, uf. The next letter is us, us. Us means base, the base of some, something. Us, say us. Us. Congratulations, friends, sisters, brothers. You have already learned the first Arabic letter and the three short vowels. So let's have a review. We had a look at the hadith, the very famous authentic hadith of Thakalain from the Holy Prophet that says. I leave for you two precious things, the Book of Allah and my Ahlul Bayt. And if you follow them both, you will not go astray. And then I told you a hadith from the Holy Prophet again that he says, Asawtul Hasan Yazidul Quran Husna. The beautiful voice that you have in recitation of Quran makes Qur'an even more beautiful to listen to. And I narrated from the narrators of history that they have said that Imam Baqir had such a beautiful voice in recitation of Qur'an that people would stand in the alley nearby, the people who, would, uh, who were passing by, they would stop and start listening to this beautiful recitation of Quran and start pondering upon the Quranic verses. And then we got to the Arabic alphabet. We got to Hamza, which is the first letter. We said Arabic alphabet is 28 letters. The first of them is Hamza. And uh, before that, we uh, we recited or we uh, read the Arabic alphabetical letters, this, the name of them, Alif, uh, Hamza, Ba, Ta, Tha, uh, to the end. So Hamza, and we uh, practiced on Hamza with the three short vowels, A, I, U. And we brought, and we brought examples of Hamza in different words with different short vowels, like in the word Ab, An, Allah, and then Ibn, Id, In, and then Um, Uf, Us, which I told you the meaning of each of them. So you can practice on any of these words with these short vowels that are upon or under Hamza. A, E, U. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen we learn something useful. Insha'Allah. O oh Allah, enlight us with the light of Qur'an. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum.